Luke the 8th chapter, verse 41, 42, and then verse 49 through 56. See what God will say to us on this morning. And we'll be reading from the, the King James Version of Luke 8, 41 through 42, and then 49 through 56. And the word of the Lord reads, And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and his name, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and besought him that he would come into his house. For he had only one daughter, about 12 years of age, and she lay a dying. But as he went, the people thronged him. While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead, trouble not the master. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to give to go in, say Peter and James and John and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept and bewailed her. But he said, weep not, she is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. But he put them all out and took her by the hand and called, saying, maid, arise. And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat. And her parents were astonished, and he put, and, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. Let's talk for a little while today about, don't get distracted when believing God for a miracle. All right. Don't get distracted when believing God for a miracle. Mm -hmm. We got to understand, you all, that doubt has a job to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Unbelief has a job to do. All right. Just as our focus and faith has a job to do. Uh -huh. All right. Therefore, we can't get distracted just because something is happening on the left and something is happening on the right. Don't nobody know the real intent and the need, the, the, uh, how, how bad you need what you need from God like you. Uh, and you can be married to somebody for 60 years, but if you individually have a need from God, I don't care how long you've been married to that person, they don't know exactly how much that need uh, means to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So in Romans 10 and 17, it says, so faith, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Don't get distracted, but stay focused and believe God for God has just what we need. Uh, he has what we need. And so I, I can't let what's going on cause me to miss what I need from God. Right. Lord help me today. Some of the distractions are the situation get worse. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know about you when you've been in a situation and God didn't encourage you, but then before um, He didn't tell you that before it gets better, it's gonna get worse. Uh, but it gets worse before it gets better. So that's one of the distractions <clears throat> that the enemy would use to get us to get our focus off of what we really need God to do. That the situation just get worse. Uh -huh. You are either told no. Or you don't qualify. Right. You know what you believe in God for, and you know what God done told you, but they come back and they tell you no. Yes. Mm. Or they either tell you you're not qualified. Mm -hmm. Another distraction are you see all the symptoms of what you know you've been healed from. Yes. All right. Oh God. Or you see the symptoms of what you believe in God yes. to deliver you from. You see them. 
Mm -hmm. Now, not only do you see them, but you feel them. Yes. Lord, help yes. me today. Yes. Okay. You're experiencing them, but you have heard from God. This yes. isn't just something you want. Mm -hmm. Lord, help me today. But this is something that you have, he initiated the conversation. He said, I have done this for you. And you see all the symptoms. Mm -hmm. Help us today. Yes. Oh, God. And, and the last one, not the... Not all of them, but just to name a few, the church is not growing. All right. We can't get distracted uh -huh. from what we believe in God to do. Yes. Right. Uh, in this passage, before us, Jairus was talking to Jesus. They came and said, don't bother Jesus, your daughter is dead. Mm -hmm. Y'all let me tell you something. Jerry had waited to tell Jesus what was on his heart mm -hmm. and what he needed. And one of his colleagues got the nerve to come and try to butt into the car. He ain't waiting. Mm. Jerry's been waiting. Y'all, when you've been waiting to talk to God and you got an audience with God, don't you let one of your colleagues, family members, um, anybody come and mess that up. Yes, I know you right. And try to cut you off in the middle of your cup. You can't even get it all out before they come, oh God, and tell you the bad news. That your child is dead. Don't bother Jesus. Oh God. Don't let folks who don't have a need of anything distract you from what you need. Yes. All right. It's easy for people to come to the conclusion that don't bother Jesus. Because they don't really have nothing that they seeking him for at the moment. So since you know, they tired of waiting on you tearing for the Holy Ghost. They tired of you wait always coming up Sunday after Sunday. You coming up to the altar. You need prayer. And so they'll tell you, you know, you don't have to go up there all the time. Yes. But they don't know what you're going through. They don't know the things that, what, what it takes for you to even get to the house of God. They don't know if you're coming up here asking for something or just want to thank God for something. Uh -huh. So you can't let folks just come interrupt your conversation with God. That's right. No. That's why you got to let turn the ringer off on the phone. Uh -huh. God speaking to you, and all of a sudden it just start ringing. Uh -huh. Y'all, it's, it's by design. Amen. Yes. Amen. But we got to be smart enough to say, okay, let me turn this ring off. Yes. Yes. I'll see it afterwards. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on your, on your miracle. Because mm -hmm. you need it. Yes. Mm -hmm. don't, don't be distracted because the news come that the baby is dead. Mm -hmm. All right, you preaching. Go ahead. What you asked the Lord for uh -huh. was for the baby to live. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good Lord from heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the distraction is yes. oh God help me today. And sometimes it comes from your own house. Yes. Yes. It comes from your own group. It comes from people that know you well. They come and they tell you Oh, God, don't even bother him no more. In other words, they're telling you, don't leave him alone. It's impossible now. Yes. Oh, God. See, they don't even understand who you're talking to. Yes. Amen. And they're trying to advise you, oh, God, uh -huh. on what not to do when they don't have nothing that has drove them to the place that it done drove you to. Something drove your child drove you to Jesus. Uh -huh. hey, this ruler don't have a child. Mm. This person don't have a child mm. that they keep bringing before the Lord mm. time after time. Mm. Oh God, and, and you just keep bringing them. And so they'll tell you easily, don't bother him. It's impossible now. He did. Mm. The child, your daughter. Is dead. Leave Jesus alone. Oh, Jesus. 
Listen, if you get at his feet, stay there. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. If you can get to Jesus' feet, yes. stay there. He's going to say something. You cannot be that close yes. to his heart yes. at his feet. Yes. And he's not saying nothing to you. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. Yes. If you get to the feet, yes. just get there. You've been waiting in with you. You've been praying. You traveled to get to Jesus. If the servant came with the bad news to had to travel to get to where y'all was at, you had to travel to get there. And now that you done came and you poured your heart out before God, don't let nobody distract you and tell you, leave him alone because it don't matter no more. It's over. It's impossible. There's nothing that can be done. Yes, there's something that can be done. Well, you can use your faith. Uh -huh. yes. You can use your faith. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. And listen, it's amazing to me because Jesus is so wise. As the servant comes to, to tell, don't bother Jesus no more. Your child is dead. Jesus don't even give Jairus time to speak. Because mm -hmm. Jesus understands that if you speak, yes. mm -hmm. yes. you can mess this whole yes, thing sir. up. Yes, sir. You had the faith, Lord, help me today, okay. to come to me. Yes. You had the faith to tell me your problem. You had the faith to tell me that your only child, that ain't nothing you can do for the child, that you need me. Oh, God. And matter of fact, just to, just to highlight it a little bit more, you're a ruler. You should be able to tell other people to help you. But you press your way to me. Good Lord from heaven. And now you're here. So don't say nothing. Don't, don't, don't say nothing. Jesus immediately spoke before Jerry said a word. And a seed of doubt could be planted. Something I don't like that my wife do. Sometimes we be in a conversation and I ask a question and she don't say nothing. About 30 seconds. It's her way of not saying the wrong thing. That she can't take back. And Keep it coming. Keep, let, let, let's just keep the conversation going since we since we're in here. But her thing is, let me let me not cause if I say this, this could bother me later. This could affect something later. And Jesus know that if Jerry speak in the same vein that his colleague is coming in, he can mess it all. Oh, I'm Jesus. I know. I can do it, but he can mess this thing all up. So he cuts him off. Good Lord from heaven. And, 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 and he don't let him say a word. Don't let him say a word. But he tell him, fear not. This is what Jesus said. Fear not. Believe only. And she shall be made whole. Oh, child did for real now. But Jesus says to the Father, fear not. Right. Only believe. Don't, don't entertain the facts. Oh God. Or, or, or the evidence. Don't entertain the evidence. Fear not. You done asked me now. Don't fear what you done asked me. And believe only. And there only means there's no other room for anything else. So Fear not and believe on that. I just need you to do two things and I'm going to make her whole. Yes. yes. Don't say a word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Don't say it. Sometimes you all, when our faith has already kicked in, stop talking. Yes. Yes, That's sir. Lord. And now just wait it out. Yes, yes sir. Don't address it again. Mm -hmm. He already knows. He already done told me just fear not mm -hmm. and believe only. Yes. That's what he told Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
Fear not, and believe. Didn't give him space to say nothing. There's absolute, and Jesus does not respond to the colleague. Hmm. Jesus knows that our words have power, and he could not let Jerry say a thing. Jesus did not address the one who came with the bad or doubtful news. Sometimes the news is not always bad, but it can cause the seed of doubt to be planted. Yes. Uh huh. Jesus did not panic at the word dead. All right. Because he knew faith could reverse death. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yo, I, it can look real bad, mm -hmm. but faith can do some stuff. Yes. Uh -huh. That is absolutely impossible to mankind. Yes, sir. Faith can shift some things and turn them all the way around in our lives. This is why we can't get distracted because it's been a week, it's been a month. And we ain't seen nothing happen. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh God. I, I want you to understand something now. Y'all know I read up 41 and 42, then I jumped down. Because in between those, there was this woman that had the issue of blood that's messing up, that's causing more time to be added on. Because this is almost like one of those Lazarus situations. If you would have been there. Okay, and Jesus is not in a rush, preacher, because now this lady has an issue, and Jesus tend to this woman's issue. But Jerry has had his request in first. Mm -hmm. Y'all, sometimes your request can be in first. Right. And you see other people getting what you've been praying about. Right. Mm -hmm. Yours ain't been forgotten. Just don't get distracted in your faith. Mm -hmm. So what? Because they testified about it. And, and, and they all they, they don't know because you ain't been broadcasting yours. Mm -hmm. And so they just want to hug all of you and, and celebrate with you. And, and, and you asking the Lord for the same thing. Mm -hmm. Don't get distracted in your faith. So the word dead did not budge Jesus. Notice Jesus didn't take everybody with him either. All right. When he finally got there, Jesus didn't take everybody with him. I learned through this that everybody don't have the faith for certain things in this world. That's right. Amen. It's a fact. Yes, sir. You can be bishops. You can be apostles, you can be preachers, evangelists, prophets, pastors, whatever you want us to be, okay? But every situation, everybody don't possess Amen. the faith for dead situations. Yes. Amen. That's the truth. This is why every pastor cannot counsel a failing marriage. Because now, a lot of times, he or she becomes a part of the problem. They're not spiritually able to deal with a place that they're weak in. And sometimes when things die, and automatically say, this can't be brought back. That's the challenge. It's our human nature, our human mind says, it's over now. Most of the time, we don't even think about, let's pray that God will bring them back to life. Right. We hear the word that so-and-so didn't die, we accept it, and we keep moving. Mm -hmm. Not saying that's all the time, but most of the time, I believe people accept the fact that, okay, man, they died, and never say, okay, let me go lay hands on. Jesus had the faith to do it. Right. And the Bible says he only took with him Peter, James, and John. All the disciples can't go on this. Mm -hmm. Thomas, you're not ready. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're not ready for this. Matthew, not right now. 
There's no need to feel bad about this because you're saved and you love God. But this area, if I take you, you're going to make matters worse. And all I need right now is people that can believe yeah. like me yes. and that can understand that yes. this ain't no, they, they're not panicking because they heard the word dead. They're not panicking because they heard the word cancer. Right. They're not panicking because they, they said that old oh, man that they haven't fell out. They're not panicking. Don't get distracted. You need the miracle. Other folks don't need what you need. So don't let them distract you regardless of how close you are to them. Don't let no distract you. You need the miracle. You got Jesus' attention now. And we always quote there. It's on this wall right here somewhere where he, where he said that, man, this is the confidence that we have in him. That if, he, if we know that he hears us, we can have what we desire of him. We can have it. Your faith is more powerful than the credit we give it. Yes, Jesus. Yes, sir. It can bring dead situations to life. Yes. I'm telling you, faith can do it. Yes. Faith is spiritual. Yes. A lot of things we're trying to do naturally, faith can do it. Yes. The problem is, he said, don't waver. And he could not have, he, he could, only three people he could take with him. And the Bible said when he got to the house and he began to, he, I, I would say, test their faith, he, he, he told them that, oh, she's not dead. They laughed him to scorn. Oh, they laughed at him. See, faith will keep you from laughing sometimes. And cause you to say, man, God going to do this. Right. When you hear something that's just really far-fetched, mm -hmm. sometimes faith is saying, man, those lumps can be removed. Yes. When the preachers say, check them now. See, if everybody in the room, faith would kick in. Right. Mm -hmm. Man, we'll see miracles after miracles. Because it, it is by faith that causes these things. That, it ain't, it, this thing ain't so much about Jesus or the Holy Ghost. It's about faith because he wants to do it. Yeah. And the thing that gets him to do it is our faith. Yes. And so when my faith kicks in like Jerry's faith, man... God was so merciful to him. Didn't let him say nothing. Don't let him mix, mess it up. He don't say nothing until after the child is up. Don't talk yourself out of your miracle. Thank you, Lord. Don't, don't do that because of what other people are saying. Man, I can only imagine if Jesus wouldn't have just immediately started talking how Jerry's reply would have been. He probably would have started apologizing. I'm sorry, Jesus, for bothering you. But they said, watch it. Stop letting people talk into your head from their experience and from their lack of need of him. To do what you need them to do. Because right. they, under, they don't understand. This, this, this is why you really can't tell everybody everything. Yes. Some testimonies you have to sit on. Yes. Until you have the complete, until it's completed. Yes, sir. Jesus told this to, to, to Peter. He said, when you've been converted, not while you're going through, <laughs> but when you've been converted, then strengthen your brother. I know we want to 
to tell it because we want it, we don't want it, we want it to appear to be that, okay, I said it in advance and it came true. Y'all listen to me. Folks, folks will come to Jesus only because of Jesus. They'll be encouraged by our testimonies. But I want you to understand something. Sometimes you don't have to sit over until the process is finished. Because if not, your faith can be messed up. Yes. <clears throat> and sometimes it's pure. See? And, and, and especially with, with my wife and you, Sister Jay, y'all have parents in y'all life that y'all communicate with regularly. And they don't, I know my wife's parents don't always understand why. Okay. Why in the world you have, you had asthma and you're going to throw away your pump? Why you, the doctor ain't said that you don't have it no more, but you talking about you believe in God. And you throw away your pump? This been your life tonight. She threw away her pump, preacher. Even when we met her before. Huh? Before. Because, thank God it was before. Because I know I would have been to blame if it, if it would have been since we had got married. But, but the thing is, is that her faith said, whatever reason, and, and, and you haven't had an attack since, right? I know we was walking in Hawaii and the enemy tried to, to try to attack her. Um, and I did not, I didn't put two and two together. The Lord revealed it to me later. Um, but we was walking in, and you know, I was trying to be old, I ain't in the military, but I'm trying to be old Sarge. Come on, let's go. We walking up these steep hills. Come on, let's go. And she lagging behind a little bit and, and she was stopping and resting. And she and and, and I'm like, and I see she's getting irritated with me because I keep trying to push her. But I don't know that she's in a spiritual battle with asthma. She's not having an asthma attack, but in her mind, the enemy was messing with her. You don't have your pump. You don't do this, and you don't do that. You don't have an attack, but did. Because wisdom said, okay, if you don't have the faith, listen to this, to keep walking, have the faith to stop and walk a little slower. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See, the devil will trick us to make us think that we don't have faith because we manage a situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I hope y'all getting this because this is fresh, yes. this fresh information off the press right now. I hear you, Lord. We think that because God said it's done, don't put no wisdom with nothing. Mm -hmm. That's not pure faith. God, then you didn't believe God for it. Now manage. Amen. I can walk up the hill. I don't have the problem that you had. I'm not in the mental battle, in this mental spiritual battle with, man, it feels like when I used to. Man, I hope this ain't. I'm not dealing with that at all. She's the one dealing with it. So wisdom says to her, faith says to her, stop. Walk a little slower. Mm -hmm. you gonna, all y'all going to get to the car, you may get there a little bit later, but you ain't going to have no attack. Mm -hmm. Is it compromised? No, it's managing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. When you have faith in God, you got to learn how to manage that thing because there are some people like Jesus dealt with these people here. He had to put them out of the room. He had to only select three people to go with three of his team now. His, his core team, he got 12 of them, but he only take three. You can't worry about, be worried about how the other nine gonna feel about this because what this man needs for his daughter, I, I can't be worried about two feelings right now. Get over it. Amen. We got to go and do what the Lord told us to do. So we got, we got to, I can't get distracted 
because I care for people. I can't get distracted because you're a preacher and because you are a prophetess. And but now we're dealing with a situation and I don't call upon you because I feel in my heart that man, you don't you ain't got the faith to deal with this. Amen. <clears throat> can't worry about that. Because now I can't let my faith be distracted. Because if, if we're an hour in, and now you, your back hurt, <laughs> for Pastor Whit, maybe we just need to wait till we, we can call him back tomorrow. Call him. Sending me notes. We can <laughs> get us to Pastor Whit. We can, we can resume this tomorrow. I ain't ate. I came straight, <laughs> I came straight for work. No, 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 no. Sometimes you have to be wise enough and manage the team. Manage the faith level. Because the Bible says, let it, let it be unto you according to your faith. Okay? And so we got to understand, Jerry has had a situation here, but, but God knew what it took. Jesus knew what it took to get this man's child here. And it took him not talking. Since he already had the faith to get to Jesus, no more talking. You had the faith to come. You have the faith to ask me. I gave you instructions, fear not and only believe. This is a one-way conversation, fear not and only believe. And when Jesus got into the room with the three disciples and the parents, because the parents had the faith, because they, they couldn't talk themselves out of it, he didn't yell or scream. He said, made arise. Man, true faith don't require a whole lot of screaming. All right. It don't. I'm not saying screaming is bad. But I'm just saying that there's a place of, of faith yes. that when everybody is on the same accord, you don't have to shout. Right. You can just speak to it. And it can be such a big thing like it was to all the other folks who laughed at him. But to Jesus and his disciples, this is just what we do. Don't get, let your faith distract you. Don't, let, don't get distracted when you believe in God for a miracle. Father, we love you and we...